Важливий день у продовженні канадської підтримки для України. Сьогодні, 19 лютого, міністр оборони Канади Білл Блер оголошує про новий пакет підтримки для України, який включає надання високотехнологічних дронів. Подробиці у нашому сюжеті. Міністр національної оборони Канади Білл Блер оголосив про передачу Україні понад 800 багатоцільових безпілотних літальних апаратів «Скайренджер Р-70». Дрони, виготовлені компанією Teledyne з Waterloo в Онтаріо, мають автоматизовані та автономні навігаційні системи, що дозволяє їм нести різні системи камер та корисне навантаження для виявлення та ідентифікації цілей. Ці можливості допоможуть українським операторам розпізнавати людей, транспортні засоби та будь-які джерела тепла з великої відстані, особливо в темряві та за поганої погоди. Among my NATO partners, our discussions are that no one knows how to fight the Russians better than the Ukrainians because they've been doing it for two years. They have been ingenious. The, the ingenuity of, of Ukrainian fighters and, and their industries utilizing unmanned aerial vehicles, drones. I'm very pleased today to be standing next to this device and to advise you that Canada is investing over $95 million to provide Ukraine with more than 800 Sky Ranger R-70 drones. These are made right here in Canada. This is a multi-rotor drone. It's been developed, engineered, and manufactured at Teledyne, a Canadian company in Waterloo, Ontario. And as we head into February 24th, we'll be marking two years of terror for innocent Ukrainians. Two years of needless death, destruction, and devastation. But also, as I've said, two years of bravery, resilience, and courage on the part of the Ukrainian people. Ukrainians have inspired the world. They've inspired Canadians across the country. They have united the world in NATO. They have reminded us of the importance of investing in defense, that production is deterrence, and that, that the only response to a tyrant like Vladimir Putin is strength and resilience and a united purpose. He has united the world against that challenge. We will not forget Ukraine. We will never abandon Ukraine. We will stand with Ukraine. We will support Ukraine until it wins this war. I'm now very pleased to turn the, the mic over to Ann Bullock, who is the Vice President of Unmanned Aerial Systems at Teledyne, to provide you perhaps with more information about this important new investment. We are proud to support Ukraine with this acquisition and are dedicated to ensuring successful deployment of these systems in country. The team in Waterloo is excited to start delivering the Sky Rangers and continuing to do so over the next year. Teledyne is committed to its Canadian operations with over 20 locations and almost 2,000 employees providing a wide range of products. This donation by Canada extends the array of military solutions Teledyne FLIR Defense is providing to Ukraine through governments worldwide. Вартість техніки становить понад 95 мільйонів доларів. Її Україна отримає вже цієї весни. So first of all, thank you very much, Honorable Minister. As a member of Ukrainian Canadian community, we are very thankful for all your support. So you've mentioned that Ukraine will receive these drones this spring. But could you please specify what date or month will Ukraine receive? Because as you know, in this war, time is very, very crucial. And it's very important for Ukrainian army to receive the ammunition and all the support on time. Thank you. Well, thank you. As, as I indicated, it, it is our intention to, to begin those deliveries as quickly as possible and this spring. But I have, fortunately, somebody here from, from the company that perhaps can provide us with, with more, <laughs> more precise information. So. Thank you. Uh, yes, so the units are, we've already uh, uh, started production on the units that will be going to Ukraine. Uh, so we will be ready to deliver in a manner of... Uh, I guess spring. Uh, I'm, I'm expecting late March, early April uh, would be the timeline that uh, that we will be able to deliver on. Канада продовжує підтримувати Україну доти, доки це буде потрібно. Роксолана Бояк, Костянтин Сніцер, Форум ТВ, Торонто.